Hi, and welcome to this Green Taylor video on taxable payment annual reporting. Taxable payment annual reporting has been around for a number of years, but primarily in the building and construction industry. It is a system whereby you have to report all subcontractors or contractors to the ATO by the 28th of August each year. The, currently, those industries that are involved in this are the building and construction services industry, cleaning services, courier services and road freight services, information technology services, and security investigation or surveillance services. The aim of this video is not so much to go through whether you're required to be registered, but more so how to actually do the reporting of this in your Zero software package. Now, if you've been using your Zero software package, hopefully the software should be able to report all those subcontractors or contractors you've been involved with throughout the year. The first thing to check in your Xero software would be to make sure that you've completed all of your 30th of June work. And the easiest way of doing this is to go to dashboard and make sure all of your bank accounts are reconciled or at least reconciled up to 30th of June. Then we can simply go to accounting, reports and taxable payment annual reporting. By utilising the Xero software, we're able to report in two different ways. So firstly, we choose the year and then set up TPAR. So these two different ways are using your contacts. So you could actually set up a group of specific suppliers that would be, in this example, contractors, and also, or in combination with, choose those accounts that are particularly where your contractors are. Now, in this sample data, we're using the demo file of zero. I'm actually assuming this is a cleaning services business and all the subcontractors are coming under the cleaning area. If you specifically wanted to set up groups, you can go to contacts. If you go to all suppliers, you can choose a supplier for example, we will have in here MCA cleaning services. And under options, you can add them to a group. Now, in this case, I've already got a contractor group. Alternatively, I could add a new group. So I tick contractors and add. And they are now part of my contractor group. So if I go back to the reporting, the reports, Taxable payment annual reporting, choose the year I'm reporting on, and set up. As I said, I could use just the contractor group. In my example, though, I'm going to assume that not all of my suppliers have been put in to the contractor group, rather they are under a specific expense. And in my case, I'm going to choose the cleaning group. Now, if you have more than one group, you can actually add a rule and add either a multitude of different expense items, such as subcontractors or contractors or cleaning in this example, or you could use specific groups of different suppliers. I'll hit save at this point. What Xero does then, it goes through and tries to look at to see who is ready to be reported. In my case here, I have ACL conference cleaners, smart agency, and Whitcall's country cleaners. All appear to be fine, ready for reporting. However, I do have a couple of issues with MCO CL, MCO Cleaning Services, and New World Cleaner. In the case of MCO Cleaning Services, it's an address issue. So if we push update, it'll actually take us to their card file. And at this point, you can see I don't actually have the address for these people. So if we could put in the address, we might put in 43 Pinson Street. In Horsham. Victoria. 3400. And hit save. We also have an issue with this one here. So again, we'll just do the update. And we might just use for the sake of what we're doing.
Leave all that alone. And hit save. Now, the last one here is New World Cleaner, and they have an ABN issue. Now, normally what this would mean is we've actually got the incorrect ABN, and the software is actually doing an ABN verification against the ATO to make sure that the ABN is of the correct format. Because this is demonstration data, we're not actually using any real business's ABN, so I can actually delete it and remove it for the sake of what we're doing. Now you can see all of my suppliers have all got their reporting correct. And then we're able to either lodge directly with the ATO, export the file to an ATO format, or export it to a CSV. Now, the three way, main ways you can actually report your TPAR reporting, if you've been lodging your BASTAS via the Xero software, you can actually lodge with the ATO. You have business portal access. You could export well, the file into an ATO format, at which point you could go into your ATO business portal and upload the file that will be created via that. The third alternative is actually to order the manual paperwork from the ATO. And this CSV file will help you give you a summary of the information required to be transposed onto that manual reporting format. If I do the export CSV, it will simply create an Excel spreadsheet down the bottom, which I could then open up and save. Alternatively, I could export to the ATO format, which will create the ATO, which is unable to be done in this demo file, but will create the actual ATO file format correct for importing via their software. Now, the third one, I also will not be able to demonstrate with the demonstration software, but it will lodge with the ATO. And if you've been successfully lodging your BASs, we'll simply be able to do it via that method. I hope this video has been informative and assist you in performing your end of year contractor reporting or taxable payment annual reporting with the ATO.